Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we will discuss what is visitor design pattern. We'll see where to use visitor design pattern in our project. I will also show the Java code implementation of visitor design pattern, and at the end, we'll discuss the benefits of visitor design pattern. Friends, in the previous video, we discuss about template design pattern. So, can you explain what is template design pattern? and where can we use it please answer your reply in the comment section of this video if you have not seen the previous video so i would recommend you to go and see the previous video the links are there on your screen and also provided in the description section just to recall what is template design pattern template design pattern defines the skeleton of an algorithm in a superclass but let subclass override a specific step of the algorithm without changing its structure so for more information please go and see the previous video friends before we proceed in this video i want you to subscribe my channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality contents for you but i am not getting subscribers i want you to like share and subscribe my channel so that i can grow code one digest family thank you all right let's get started Okay friends, so let's start with the visitor design pattern. So what is visitor design pattern? Visitor design pattern is a behavioral design pattern. Visitor design pattern lets you separate algorithm from objects on which they operates. With the help of visitor pattern, we can move the operation logic from object to other class. As per pattern, element object has to accept the visitor object so that visitor object handles the operation on the element object. It is a way of separating the algorithm logic from the element class to other class. The visitor pattern suggests that you place the new behavior into a separate class called visitors instead of trying to integrate it into existing class. The original object that had to perform the behavior is now passed to one of the visitors method as an argument, providing the method access to all necessary data contained within that object. Let's try to understand visitor design pattern with a real world example. Imagine a seasoned insurance agent who is eager to get a new customer. He can visit every building in the neighborhood and try to sell insurance to everyone he meets. Depending on the type of organization that occupies the building, he can offer specialized insurance policies. Like if it is a residential building, he sells a medical insurance. If it is a bank, he sells theft insurance. Or if it is a copy shop, then he sells fire and flood insurance. Let's take another example. It's the most common example of visitor pattern. When we go for a shopping in a shopping market, we pick the goods and add them to our cart. When we collect all the necessary goods to the cart, we go to builders for the billing. The cashier checks all the goods and tell us the total amount we have to pay. The cashier act as a visitor here. Let's see a Java code implementation of visitor design pattern. I have prepared a code snippet for visitor design pattern. I'll give you a code walkthrough first, and then I'll show you how to run the code and give you the demo of visitor design pattern. Friends, I have shared this project, this code in my GitHub repository. You can download the code from the GitHub repository and play with it. You can see the repository link on your screen and also provided in the description section of this video. Now let me show you an example that I am going to implement for visitor design pattern. Let's take an example of employee object which maintain a record of employees name, salary, vacation taken and number of sick days taken. Now let's suppose we want to prepare a report of number of vacations that all employees have taken. We could just write some code in a client to sum the result of the call to each employee get vacation days function. Or we could put this function into a visitor class. Visitor class does not do anything to a client class or our visit other visitor classes. In fact, we can write many visitors classes that do different things to the subject class. In this demo, visitor class will do the sum of all the vacation days for all the employees. Let's see implementation of this. Okay friends, 
now let me show you an implementation of visitor design pattern so you see here i have created a package for visitor design pattern and all my classes are inside this package i have defined an employee class where it has name sick days vacation days and salary attributes and having a getter setter for all those attributes and one constructor to initialize these attributes right then i have defined a visitor class this is an abstract visitor class this is a super class of all the visitor classes that we are going to write in this visitor class i have a method visit and passing an instance of employee object because i want this visitor class to operate on employee object i have an implementation of this visitor class employee visitor class that is employee vacation visitor and the purpose of this employee vacation visitor is to calculate the sum of all the vacations taken by all the employees so if you see this visitor vacation visitor class is extending employee visitor and it is initializing this variable total vacation days to zero with a starting and it has its own implementation of this visit method which is there in abstract class in this visit method it is calculating the vacation days of whatever employees have been passed here right and then we have a method get total vacation days which is returning this total vacation days let me show you a test class where i am calling and running this design pattern i have defined five different employees with their different vacation days that is 20 22 25 15 and 10 and i have created a list out of it in employee list i have added all these employees then i have created an instance of our employee vacation visitor because i want to calculate the vacation days for vacation days of all these employees right then what i'll be doing is i'll be iterating on employee list and passing individual employee to this vacation visitor for for it to sum up the vacation days of all the employees once this iteration is done then i'll be fetching the total vacation days calculated by this vacation visitor using get total vacation days so in this i have a total vacation days taken by all the employees and that is what i am printing it here at line number 29 in the same way we can have different types of visitors like to calculate the salary to calculate the sick days and so on so we can create any number of visitors without impacting the employee class or any other visitor class so this is a very clean implementation of visitor design pattern where we can have a different implementation different logics we can apply on a same object without disturbing the employee class with me let me run this and show you yes so if you see it has calculated the total vacation days coming for all these employees is 92 if you sum it will come to 92 these vacation days friends the very first question comes to our mind when and where to use visitor design pattern so whenever we have to perform an operation on a group of similar kind of objects that time we should use visitor design pattern whenever you need to perform an operation on all the elements of a complex object structure that time you can use visitor design pattern whenever you want to clean up the business logic of auxiliary behavior that time you can use visitor design pattern and whenever a behavior makes sense only in some classes of a class hierarchy but not in others that time you can use visitor design pattern so what benefit do we get from visitor design pattern because it supports open close principle so you can introduce a new behavior that can work with objects of different classes without changing these classes it also supports single responsibility principle so you can move multiple version of the same behavior into a same class a visitor object can accumulate some useful information while working with various objects 
this might be handy when you want to traverse some complex object structure such as object tree and apply the visitor to each object of this structure if the logic of operation changes then we need to make changes only in a visitor implementation friends now let me summarize what we learned in this video we understood what is visitor pattern we saw a real world example of visitor design pattern i shown you a java code implementation of visitor design pattern and we also saw the use cases of visitor design pattern when and where to use it at the end we discuss the benefits of visitor design pattern so friends let me know if you have already used visitor design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be very useful please reply in the comment section of this video friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you